Welcome back to Action Tracks. It's a back to school bash. Next up, we've got another freestyle powerhouse. Jim Kohler in the Avenger is on the track. Steve Sims, our second truck out tonight, has set the bar pretty high with a 27. Only three points to work with for Jim Kohler in the Avenger. We'll see what he can do out here on the Charlotte track. Kohler going after the car set that put Stone Crusher on its side. Now it looks like he's heading towards the crossover. Up the back side of the crossover. Nice skyward launch off the back side of the crossover. Avenger heading out towards turn four. Whips it into a donut. First time we've seen that tonight. Heading back towards the center of the track. Over the racing lane there, sideways. Whipping it back around again. Heading back the same way he just came. And back over that same car sec. Sideways over the, the van stack out there and back into turn four. Back towards the van stack that's been giving all of the competitors some great big air. And more big air out of Kohler. And he combos it up with a great wheelie. Through the car pile there in the center of the infield. Van Stack out there towards turn one. Whips it around in turn one. Track's a little slippery, just enough to help these trucks slide right around. Coming up through the bus pyramid. Onto the front straightaway. Heading back over towards the crossover. Up the back side of the crossover, off to the side just a little bit. And over the car set, nice combo. Oh, the triple combo over the van stack out in turn number four. Polar heading back, big speed. Going for the crossover, big air over the crossover. Cleared the entire landing ramp. Little slap wheelie off the landing. And into a donut. Jim Kohler comboing up through this entire run. A beautiful donut for Avenger. Dust flying everywhere around the truck. But the truck is perfectly visible in the eye of the storm. Now you see those green headlights peering their way through the dust as Kohler works his way back out on the track. Tries to reorient himself to where he is so he can continue on with this fantastic freestyle. No questions filling the time tonight. Kohler showing why he's always a freestyle threat. Back over the van stack with big air. And another comboed slap wheelie. Kohler coming onto the front stretch. You see the hand out the window. That's going to be all for him tonight. Let's take a look back. Big air over that crossover jump. A little slap wheelie afterwards. So much air in throughout the run. Big launch here over the van stack, slap wheelie combo, then into a great donut. Kohler was on his game tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thought it'd be a better score than that, only a 22. A great run by Kohler, but not going to be his night. He'll be in third right now. Out next is Jeremy Slipko in backdraft, a late addition to the back to school bash lineup. After another truck couldn't make the call for the event, Slipco was given a phone call and asked to come down to the back to school bash. Happened to be available for the weekend, and here we go. Slipco is here for the back to school bash and has put on a phenomenal run so far in racing. A great showing for the, the first time back to school basher, Jeremy Slipco. And uh, we're expecting some big things out of him in, in freestyle, though he's never seen anything quite this expansive in his shorter career. Jeremy Slipko has never ceased to amaze and has been getting better and better every time out. Already off to a phenomenal start. Big air, good momentum. Jeremy seems to be hitting everything uh, with reckless abandon, really. Big air! Off the racing lane there. Gonna combo it up off the back side of the crossover. Kind of cross it down just a little bit. As I said, Slipko's been impressing a lot of people. 
Papa Slipko, Andy, the driver of the Eradicator Monster Truck, has put a fantastic piece of equipment under his son, and Jeremy is doing wonders with the equipment that he's been provided. Jeremy has developed greatly over the last couple years in early in his career. Looks like he kind of hit sideways there and may have tweaked the sway bar. You see the truck leaning over to the right side just a little bit. Looks like he may have hit back on the other side and twisted. Wow, big air. That may have been the biggest air of the night for Backdraft. As I was saying, he, he may have twisted the sway bar back just a little bit when he landed on the next hit through the RV, just in case it wasn't completely polished off. Tumbling through the car pile. Backdraft is just attacking this track. Biggest momentum we've seen all night. I think Steve Sims has really got a challenger here. More huge air out of Backdraft. The truck just stands up to this abuse beautifully. Pulling off a steam shovel effect there. Digging through the dirt. Great wheelie on the crossover ramp. Big air even off the racing lanes, off every little obstacle, cross-threading everything. Backdraft is definitely going to be a challenger tonight at the Back to School Bash. More huge air out of Backdraft. This is one of the most exciting runs I've seen in a long time. I'd be almost surprised if this doesn't take the lead from Steve Sims and Stone Crusher. Jeremy Slisco is just amazing here tonight. The momentum is phenomenal. Hitting everything on the track. Cross-threading. He even turned it in the air there. The truck is just responding beautifully to every input that Slipco gives it. There's just no beating Slipco tonight. Up through the bus pyramid. Straight into a donut. Walking it down the front stretch at the dirt track at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Great donuts. High revs. Wow. That may be all for Slipco here. Yep, we're going to take a look back at this amazing run. The big air assault by Jeremy Slipco in backdraft. Hit after hit, the truck just takes and absorbs every bit of punishment. The score is a 28, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a new leader at the Back to School Bash, Jeremy Slifko in the backdraft. Next up, we're going to bring out Mark Hall in the Raminator. If you're with us for racing, Hall made it all the way to the finals on the downside of a controversial racing finish against Brutus, but Hall was the benefactor of another controversial call in the semifinal, so things perhaps evened each other out. The officials were consistent all night long, so you can't really complain. They were flip-flopping back and forth as if they were choosing favorites. Let's we'll see what Hall can now do in freestyle. Hall predominantly known as a racer, but has certainly put on some great freestyles throughout his career. Mark's such a controlled racer, that sometimes his freestyles can look very controlled as well, and that may hurt him occasionally. But he'll come out and put on a good solid run. We'll see what he can do. Heading towards the crossover. Not quite the speed. Wow, he made that look so easy. I question whether he's gonna have enough speed to make it over the distance between the two jumps, and with that big Kimmy Graham power, no problem. If you'll remember, the Halls have been in this business for a long time, going all the way back to the heavy metal tank, and the big boss monster truck leafer back in the late 80s. I've worked their way up to the Raminator truck and the Ram Munition truck with great Ram brand sponsorship. Some of the biggest power in the industry cranking out of those big heavy monster motors. Over the van stack, heading back towards the flag stand. All oh, cranks the Ram into a donut. Up the back side of the crossover ramp, good wheelie. Truck's starting to get a little hot, it looks like. See the steam rising out of the, the bed compartment. Mark seems to be hitting pretty well everything out there. Jeremy Slifko, a tough act to follow. Looks like that's going to be all for Mark Hall. Mark accelerates up the front straight at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, showing off that big heavy power, but it's not going to be his night. The score is only an 18. 
A good solid run, but not going to be as spectacular as we need tonight to win. Action Tracks will return in just a moment.